now that story that you were talking about, George. Mm. Uh, it's it's amazing. A survival story. California, two young sisters, five and eight years old, vanishing for 44 hours, sparking a search across a rugged and hilly region outside of Sacramento. This morning, we're gl glad to report that they are safe. They're back with their family. Will Carr is in Northern California with the incredible details. Good morning, Will. Good morning, Rob. And people here are still trying to wrap their minds around the fact that these girls weren't hurt or worse. This entire area is filled with thick, unforgiving terrain, and that's what these girls were caught in for almost two days without food. This morning, the sheriff says it is a miracle that they were found safe and sound. After being lost for 44 hours in the rugged Northern California woods, two young sisters are rushed into their parents' arms. Yes, we found them and I'm so happy. <laughs> First, eight-year-old Caroline getting a big hug from her dad. Then her five-year-old sister Leah wrapped in a yellow emergency blanket hoisted into her mother's tight embrace. To finally see their kids safe and sound, it was uh, finally were, uh, an emotional release. The Carrico sisters vanished from their home in rural Bimbo, California, Friday afternoon. They really wanted to get out of the house, and uh, the mom told them, hey, just wait. I know you want to go for a hike, but just give me, just give me a couple minutes, and the kids didn't wait. On their own, they quickly got lost. More than 200 people scoured the wooded area using 12 canines and even a Black Hawk helicopter. Then after almost two days, two volunteer firefighters tracked the girls' boot prints and ultimately found the girls almost a mile and a half from home deep in the woods. Their mother talking briefly to a reporter from our local ABC station right after hearing the good news. My girls are found and alive and, and I'm going to them now. I can't speak to you. Thank you so much for everything you did. It was uh, pretty emotional when we knew that they were found alive and um, the searchers, everyone just let out a, a yell and a, and a high five. Dehydrated, the girls relied on 4-H outdoor survival training, licking water droplets off tree leaves to survive. These girls were smart enough to stay underneath the canopy, the tall trees. They hiked all the way to this location and they stopped when they knew that they were lost. and They were anxious to see their parents. Uh, so they brought them down off of the hill uh, on, on the quads that they were drove up there and they're reunited at the bottom of the hill. After that emotional reunion, the girls were rushed to a local hospital where they shared a bed. Their cheeks red, their parents elated. The girls actually lost their voices after screaming for help for so long. And this morning, the two men who found them are getting a lot of credit around here, guys. And they deserve a lot of credit mm -hmm. too as well. All right, well, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.